the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Now, I've heard so many teachings along the lines of redemption the pauline epistle and many people have said you know satan brought death um it's it's not very accurate doctrinally death was not satan's concept are we together i want you to know that death was also created death was <laughs> death was also created but death did not have the power to kill listen carefully now death as you know it now was not god's design death was not supposed to be an instrument that you use to kill uh -uh. someone changed that operation and made it so number one death was not satan's concept number two death was not created to have the power to kill god never gave death the power to kill so where did it get his power from i will tell you the power of death to be able to kill came from man listen carefully the power of death to be able to kill it was man that gave death the power to be able to kill and the basis for that power watch this now by the original sin of man satan tricked him to activate something and empower death to now be able to kill listen carefully and because of that violation and that statement that god made that every time there is sin death should have the freedom to strike the sinner are you getting the point now god gave man an instruction and he said your immunity there's no record of death threatening man in the garden of eden no death only derived his power at the instance of sin something happened to man when he violated the principles and the instructions of God from that time and then empowered by God's own verdict everywhere that sees sin it has the power to kill the individual are you learning now pay attention you will understand that everywhere upon any human being at all if death finds sin in that person's nature death has the authority to come and create a separation between his spirit and his body ultimately destroying the location of his spirit and disrupting that possibility from dwelling with god forever it was not god that empowered death to kill the power of death to kill was because of the presence of sin that came through man are you getting now man's disobedience gave death the power to kill please write it down man's disobedience gave death the power to kill that means without sin death has no power over man as seen in the garden without sin 
death has no power over man you have to understand this concept to now begin to understand what jesus did when he walked upon the earth without sin death has no power over man let's discuss the power of death first corinthians 15 and verse 55 first corinthians 15 55 apostle paul now oh death where is your sting he's making a mockery of death here based on a revelation the same way elijah made a mockery of the prophets this is a mockery he's making of death oh death where is thy sting he says and oh grave where is thy victory it means that there is something that he understood about the sacrifice of jesus and the power of his resurrection write this down the key to ultimately destroying death is for sin to be completely absent in the human race the key to ultimately destroying the power of death if you want is for sin to be completely absent in the human race hmm. this is very powerful the key to ultimately destroying death or the power of death is for sin to be completely absent in the human race look up let me teach you something this thing called sin more than an act is a nature and based on the deception of satan and something about the way god created the system that sin passes through the blood are we together so as a woman is pregnant that baby in her womb already carries the nature of sin so the baby also carries the possibility of dying even though you have not been born are we together now death has a mandate by reason of the fall of man and the mandate and the condition is anywhere you see sin whether sin as a nature through the bloodline or sin as acted out by the physical body you are authorized to take that individual and from the fall of adam death effortlessly was able to take people because he found out that there, there was no exception as far as the absence of sin is concerned that even the most righteous person had within his nature by blood are we together now so we became slaves to death now when you understand this concept of death you will now begin to appreciate what happened with the coming of jesus right from his birth are you seeing the reason now why a man a mortal man did not play the role in jesus's coming because remember the seed is transferred through the man the woman only receives are we together now and if a mortal man played that role then jesus would not be able to save sinners because he himself would be in need of a savior that's why the holy ghost played that fatherly role because biology teaches us that the blood from a child comes from his father is that true now this young boy grows to become an adult and something very strange happened from the time he was announced satan found out that all over the earth there was only one person who stood as human even though he was god and when he came to him he found exactly what he saw before he attacked adam how did this happen that this person there was no nature of sin he says satan come to me understand the process that leads to redemption now are we together now don't think death tried jesus but there was no basis remember the rule the law is that you can only 
use the power to kill when you find the nature of sin in that individual now death came to jesus once and again and it had no power over him the same way it had no power over adam before the fall what was the crime the crime was that jesus could not die why because he did not have the nature of sin that meant there was no possibility for him to go to hell because the only person who can go to hell is the person who death kills just just take it easy you're going to understand what i'm teaching you now hmm. oh death where is your sting the bible says he who knew no sin became sin so if jesus walked upon the earth and did not go to heaven till now he would not die nothing would be able to touch him because that nature was not in him death will pass him like this he will pass death because the nature that authorizes the operation of death jesus did not come from adam no everyone who came directly from adam was already subject to death first and most important spiritual death then the physical deterioration that happened by reason of the reign of death over a long period of time are we learning now there was no way jesus would have saved man as being sinless because there was no way he would be able to go to the grave and remember the problem was he came not to die for himself he was not the one who had any problem the problem was man and these four elements needed to be dealt with number one sin number two talk to me number three the grave number four that means he had to assume a position that would qualify him to pass through all four but as he was sinless sin would not be able to touch him death would not be able to take him the grave would not be able to take him and hell they, they, because they are all related it is sin that leads to death death takes you to the grave grave takes you to hades the place of the dead now he came as the sinless one and death would try and say i cannot find what gives me the authorization because sin the nature is what gives me the authorization to destroy the human spirit satan come to me the bible says and it does not find anything but because his agenda was to come and save us the bible says we did our best and death still took us effortlessly so the only way people were preserved from death in the old testament was through covenants god would have an agreement with them and give them terms so they will obey those terms and on account of those terms they would have an immunity against death till the assignment was over but that permanent victory over death it was not possible now you will know who jesus is and you will know what he did when he came follow the story now when jesus left heaven watch this remember the instruction in genesis 2 17 he told man the instruction was given to who help me man the instruction was not given to angels the instruction was not given to lower creatures the instruction was given to man in the day that you eat of that fruit in the day you walk in disobedience something will happen to you and he spoke to man he said you shall surely die that means the moment you violate that there is no possibility of reconnecting with me at this level again and so if god were to punish anyone it would be man that's why jesus had to now become a man he couldn't save man as god god does not sin god does not die god does not go to the grave and god does not go to hell 
this is for men and so he became a man but this time around he came as a sinless man it was a mystery that men did not understand angels did not understand even his apostles did not understand so he walked upon the earth the bible clearly tells us that jesus the son of the living god was sinless and i hope that you know that sin does not just affect the body god's focus in dealing with the sin problem is not just the body because in any case like you'll be learning this body is just a container the real thing is your spirit are we together now now let me teach you something very powerful and then we'll find somewhere to pray hebrews chapter 4 and verse 15 hebrews chapter 4 for we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmity it says but in all ways tempted like us yet without sin that means death kept coming to look around how do i get this man but because there was no sin not in his nature death could not touch him are you seeing why the moment he became seen he didn't spend up to three days death took him immediately because he had been looking for him and it's like you've been searching for something and finally you found it it was like a dream come true this sinless man what gave him that authorization he had now become seen with speed death took him only to watch the shock that paul gave us that will happen in hell because jesus had to look for a way to get down there and in this condition he would never be able to die he would never be able to go to the grave and remember everything he was doing was for me and for you are we together so to qualify jesus christ based on all i have taught you now to qualify jesus to die he had to become sin and there was no way of carrying the human blood because the idea of sin is not just physical blood transfusion no there was no way you could reverse the process of making a human male become his father again joseph was just a caretaker it was the holy ghost that played his father the role so he now introduced a concept like i've taught you called the holy communion because the bible says he became sin how did he become sin john chapter 6 john chapter 6 i'll begin my reading from verse 53 john 6 53 then jesus said unto them verily verily i say unto you except ye eat the flesh of the son of man pay attention and drink his blood you have no life in you are you seeing this now this is a very powerful concept next verse who so eated my flesh and drinketh my blood had eternal life and the possibility of resurrection can happen to that person this is what jesus was teaching he's saying listen in this your state if you die that's the end of it for you but there is something i want to do i want to make something happen to you such that resurrection can be possible for you are we together that i will raise him up on the last day 55 for my flesh is meat indeed and my blood is drink indeed 56 now he that eateth my flesh this is the key verse now and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and i in him i've taught you this right the doctrine of interpenetration the mystery by which two entities become one that's the same mystery by which a man and a woman from different locations parents now are called one it's what brings one plus one equal to one jesus is teaching them here that it is possible for me to enter you and you enter me are we together please help those under the anointing so when they were taking the communion let me tell you what they were doing remember according to scripture it took eating or interacting to partake of that nature of sin 
now it had to do with a meal something was happening the disciples did not even know what they were doing follow carefully now as we unravel the mystery that leads to the resurrection he broke the bread which he said was him he said all of you eat it you are not just eating it for yourself you are representing men i can't gather the whole world in a meeting but i can use the number 12 because 12 is a covenant number for government you are representing the entire human race listen carefully in this communion so when they ate it he now said one more drink this cup this is my blood the moment that happened jesus said all right thank you you will see me shortly he was on his way to gethsemane they didn't even know what he went to do he now said father based on this mystery called the communion it is legal for me now i have made myself one with man that means i can transfer the sin whether i transfer my righteousness to him or sin is transferred to me remember the mystery now remember in marriage when a woman marries a man she doesn't have to look like him she now carries his son name immediately now he sat at the communion and what was happening is that man was giving him authority because the earth belongs to man and he came even though he was god he was man he had to find a way to negotiate with men to give him a legal basis to carry their sin so that death will now look for him now watch this please watch this look up please let me tell you what satan and demons saw in the realm of the spirit they only knew that there was a meeting going on in the upper room i hope you know that's where the last supper two happened and as soon as jesus came out satan saw that this is not the same person they had always seen what was changing something was happening to him that thing satan sees in every human being he finally saw it on jesus when jesus went to gethsemane most people thought he just went to pray no something was happening there you know what was happening there it was right there the holy ghost had to leave him because the bible calls him the second adam and the holy spirit who was a life-giving spirit when the holy spirit lives in him satan life and death light and darkness cannot dwell so when he said take this cup off me the cup was not dying on the cross for the first time the holy ghost will have to leave him to suffer alone the same way he left adam you see now listen carefully so right from gethsemane he was no longer jesus christ no he was now the man the second adam so judas comes and judas does not even know what is possessing him and satan looks at jesus and said something changed i'm sure in his mind he will say who tempted you that you became sinful this cheap not knowing that it's called the hidden wisdom of god so now that one's invisible deity now gave himself freely that was why when they caught him all together the disciples thought he would shake them and throw them but now it seems like he was just a weak person and they took him around satan could not believe it what in the world and i knew that i may defeat him but this is the son of god what i could not do in heaven is now happening cheaply i was cast down because of this agenda somebody is going to bow to me and jesus kept going like a sheep to the slaughter now condition one had been met he had become sin automatically death now had the authority are you seeing now so satan started moving through pontius pilate and through all look at how satan was determined do you know what it means for a whole city to suddenly hate you that's hard work from the realm of the spirit satan was making sure that nobody shows any mercy now that this guy is seen i don't know what else he can do let me kill him fast because satan did not know that if you resurrect listen the idea he had seen resurrection but the way resurrection happens is that somebody in the earth realm must call you are we together now he must call your spirit back into your body and satan knew that if jesus left nobody nobody
so jesus was led and death was doing to him what he did to adam when he hung upon that cross condition number two the second element he had become seen and he died hmm. you know what happened imagine the silence in heaven because the angels did not understand this they were just obeying instructions given to them what in the world is this god you turn your face on the son of god and now he died hell was rejoicing and his body was hung there joseph of arimathea said please don't leave this body here he didn't know what was moving him to ask because the third element was about to be conquered the grave now the issue of sin he had become sin now he had, ah my god he had died and when they took him to that tomb and kept him there they rolled the stone and they closed it physical realm you are done with your own assignment now let's see what happens let me tell you this because you see the bible does not and i've read my bible i don't mean to argue this but i know from the authority of scripture with the exception of two people who were still even learning about them enoch and elijah the bible does not record that anybody before jesus christ died directly and went to heaven where the father is and stayed there you will not find it in your bible no no the bible says they died with a promise that something will happen because throughout their lifetime they obeyed the instruction that was given to them so it was taken as a token of righteousness and they say you wait here a day will come something will happen that will make reference to your obedience and it will bail you out now jesus is about to visit the third element the grave when he was done with the grave let me tell you what the grave is number one the grave is a place where i wrote here the physical remains of a deceased is deposited could be a ditch could be a pit physically speaking now a grave is where the physical remains of a deceased person is deposited but the spiritual meaning of a grave listen carefully a grave is a spiritual passage a grave is a spiritual passage from the physical realm into the realm of the spirit it's a doorway that leads from the physical realm to the physical to the spiritual realm number three the grave is also where resurrection begins very important information about the grave the grave starts resurrection starts right at the grave lazarus woke up from the grave before he came out so a place where the physical remains of a deceased is deposited a passageway from the realm of the spirit to from the physical realm to the realm of the spirit are we together the grave now the fourth element i want us to look at very quickly is hell there are seven words seven greek expressions of the word hell but there are two that are most important for our discussion one is called gehenna gehenna is spelled g-e-h-e-n-n-a and gehenna was not a spiritual place it was a physical understanding gehenna in ancient times outside of jerusalem when you study bible history there was a place where they set criminals on fire and they would burn them and throw their dead bodies you understand we see a, an example of that in most cities there are places where you see them heap rubbles and they can set it on fire that was where they called they called it hell but it was gehenna they would burn um criminals set them to ashes and then throw their bodies there you know to rot and decay and so on and so forth but there is another word called hades h-a-d-e-s hades is called the place of the dead hades the place 
of the dead psalm 16 and verse 10 psalm 16 and verse 10 psalm 16 and verse 10 for thou will not leave my soul in hell the psalmist was speaking prophetically about the things that would happen neither will thou suffer the holy one to see corruption the word hell there is the word hades second scripture psalm 139 and verse 8 psalm 139 and verse 8 he was speaking and said where can i hide from your presence and he said if i ascend up into heaven thou art there and if i descend to the to hell the word there again is hades the place of the dead thou art there so we know that there is a place called the place of the dead so jesus died where do you think he went to he could not have gone to heaven because anybody carrying the nature of sin cannot go to heaven in fact anyone who has not been redeemed cannot go to heaven and until jesus came there was nobody who had enjoyed the blessings of redemption to go to heaven otherwise the bible would never call him the firstborn among the begotten he had to be the person to lead that way are we together now so jesus went to hell my apologies i don't know what is um, affecting the whole projection but let me read hebrews chapter 2 let me use my hebrews chapter 2 from verse 14 hebrews 2 14 i'll read it just listen for as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood this is verse 14 now hebrews 2 14 he also himself likewise took part of the same took part of the same means he became in their form spiritually now that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death that is the devil and deliver them 15 now who through fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage so all that jesus did was so that he will finally go to the place of the dead the realm of the spirit and correct something that happened between satan and the first man let's see what happened now so the gate that opens up the physical realm to the spiritual realm opened for jesus and the bible says my god Paul was such an intelligent man this was how this guy just sat down and he was just watching it like a video and now began to write it you know what happened the Bible says when Jesus was going to go and join all those who had gone before him now while he went there he was in hell and something began to happen seriously there Satan was shocked to find out that although Jesus was there he now tried to force him to bow listen carefully bowing talks of acknowledging authority are we together now yes jesus now went in the strength of man adam and all the cohorts of hell were forcing him to bow to the authority of satan paul said that he made a public show of them now hold on let me explain to you what that means remember jesus said in the day you eat it you shall surely die that means god's word should not fall to the ground every man should die do you know what that means it doesn't mean to stop living physically it means there is no possibility for man to be connected to him again so jesus now comes representing the entire creation in that covenant and went through the punishment that man should go through 
and the bible says he shall see the travail of his soul this was a revelation given to isaiah the prophet that he shall see the travail of his soul and he shall be satisfied according to the teachings of great men like ew Kenyon, he now says when the legal claims of justice was now paid for you see that now the father's heart was satisfied jesus made a public show of them he says triumphing over them in it now the final battle he goes to satan who the bible called the god of this world who had collected the keys of dominion from adam through deception and jesus collected that key and apostle peter teaches us that he now went somewhere that is called the bosom of abraham because the the bosom of abraham is not heaven oh i hope you know that there's no such place called the bosom of abraham in heaven mm -mm. there is a throne the bible describes about 12 or 13 things that we know and see in heaven the bosom of abraham is not there apostle peter said jesus went there and preached the gospel to them and they believed what was the gospel listen i'm here with you now remember the promise he made to you through abraham that in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed he was not talking of money he was saying abraham because of your covenant the jewish nation will come out and jesus will come out of that nation and whoever believes just like you believe it will be credited to him for righteousness that promise i have come do you believe they say we believe they say, come follow me and that was how they started going out it's in your bible it's in your bible after the defeat that happened in hell jesus led captivity john give me ephesians my spirit is fired up ah, yeah. ephesians 4 ephesians 4 let's start from verse 18 ephesians chapter 4 did i get that right ephesians 4 from verse um he led captivity captive help me look for it for us media it should be helping me as i'm preaching ephesians let me pull it up he led captivity captive and he gave gift unto men verse 8 thank you ephesians 4 and verse 8 wherefore saith he when he ascended up on high he did what he led captivity captive in fact let's go to verse 6 let's start from there one god one father of all who is above all and through all and in you all now verse 7 pay attention it says but unto everyone is given grace according to the measure of the gift of christ uh-huh wherefore he said when he ascended on high he led captivity captive and gave gifts to men verse 9 powerful information now now he that ascended but what is it that he also descended first to the what lower parts of the earth so jesus went there he's describing it now verse 10 and he descended and then when he was done he now came to the earth he ascended to finish his high priestly duty and then he came to charge the disciples this is the protocol that's what happened so he came out and the bible your bible says that when jesus was done now the issue of sin death the grave hell was about to be do you know that if jesus did not resurrect that means that number one death still had power because the last enemy to be destroyed is death and that also means that he's not exerted power over death over satan it means that he was trapped in hell so the bible says on the third day let me hurry up by the authority of the father resurrection when he resurrected first the bible did not say he resurrected alone the departed saints that they resurrected with him and walked around the streets of jerusalem and all men saw them 
are we together now all men saw them now when jesus resurrected i'm hurrying up because of time the bible tells us that mary saw him and she wanted to come and touch him she said rabboni he said don't touch me that means i'm not yet done with my i just came out of the grave but there is something i need to settle he now went to heaven paul was shown this when he taught the hebrew church that jesus now went to heaven he was no longer a savior in heaven he was a high priest and the lamb he carried his blood into that tabernacle are we together i've taught you and now poured that blood upon the altar to atone for the sin of man once and for all the moment he finished listen carefully the moment he finished triumphantly a coronation service was held in heaven for him the lord said to my lord sit down at my right hand until i make your enemies your footstool philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 now let this mind be in you please give it to us which was also in christ jesus verse 6 it says that although being in the form of god thought it not robbery to be equal with god but for your sake and my sake verse 7 he made himself of no reputation took upon himself the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men verse 8 and being found in fashion as a man he humbled himself and became what obedient to death think about it obedient not obedient to the father obedient to death is another word of saying he became sin because whoever has that nature of sin is a slave to death he became obedient to death even the death on the cross verse 9 wherefore god had so highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every other name at the resurrection of jesus watch this now a coronation service was held for him and when that coronation service was held that was when he was given the name lord l o r d now but the advantage is that he was not lord alone he was not king alone remember our communion mystery that everything he was doing you were doing it in him that's the part satan did not know because if all of us were to be saved every one of us will have to do what jesus did for ourselves and jesus went through all that and when he resurrected by the glory of the father satan was surprised because he found out now listen carefully he found out that there was a possibility that had come from the resurrection that man would not be able to have what was that possibility that because jesus rose again man is not only saved but man also will rise like him not just spiritually first like arising from the dead but that physically every time you receive eternal life into your spirit there are many things that you receive number one is the life of god but number two you receive something called the power of resurrection the power of resurrection part of it is for this age but part of it will be activated when the trumpet sounds follow me carefully we're discussing the doctrine of resurrection now there is a part of the power of resurrection that is in us but is not yet activated it will be activated the moment the sound of the trumpet is the signal that was given that the moment that sound comes everyone whether you are alive or you are dead in christ that software becomes activated and every the grave no matter where you died you must resurrect once you are in christ honor will be given to those who died in christ first we call this sleeping and then we who are alive and remain together will be caught up with him paul said that i may know him and the power of his resurrection dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it 
see you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.